this video, I will tell you about the revision cloud command in AutoCAD. The revision cloud command can be used to create a cloud as a representation anywhere on the drawing. Here we can see a rectangle consisting of arcs. In the draw panel, we can use the revision cloud command to perform these actions. Here we have three different methods which I will talk about. Using the rectangular method, we can create a rectangle anywhere on our screen where we want to draw attention. We can set different scales depending on the size of the drawing. So how do we set the scale? I go to a metric drawing screen and here I can activate revision cloud. When I create the rectangle, you'll see that there is an arc length command. Here you can change the minimum and maximum values. For example, let's set a minimum of 0.5 and a maximum of 2 or let's say 1.5 and creates a group. Now when I click, let's get back into the command now after making the adjustments. When I try to create a rectangle like this, I set a very very small value. Let's narrow it down further. Yes, now we have a cloud like this. I set a very small value I wrote the standard value and created a cloud. Now let's make a bigger one. From the draw panel I select the command and set the minimum arc length as 5 and the maximum as 15. Now I create a new arc and as you'll see the lengths are very different. The minimum was 0.5 here and the maximum was 1.5. Whereas here the lengths are 5 to 15. Now, <clears throat> if you pay attention here, you'll see that when we set the arc length, for example, when I type a minimum of 10 and the maximum of 40, it will display an error. The maximum can at most be three times the minimum, so we can set a maximum of 30. The biggest maximum length can be three times that of the minimum so that we can have a logical cloud. We have created a rectangular shape. Here, we can use the polygonal method to create a polygon and perform this action. When we create multiple points, we can create a cloud with as many edges as we would like. When I press enter, the action is complete. Another method is the freehand method. It allows us to create a cloud with the freehand method. I move the mouse freely without holding it down. And when I come back to the starting point, it combines it perfectly. So, we use the freehand method to create a cloud. For example, if I want to highlight here, I turn on freehand and move my mouse to draw the cloud. It's hard to catch the edge point with the mouse because I went too far, as you'll see. With the minimum and maximum values in mind, we can create a cloud. What if we have an object created with polyline? Can we convert that object? For example, we have an object like this, which I want to convert into a cloud. When I go into the rectangle command, we, we can see I'll use the object command to select this object and then the object will be automatically converted into a cloud in accordance with the set values. In this video, we told you about the revision cloud command in AutoCAD. We hope to see you in another video.